Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna talk about winning the lottery. So this is actually a technique that I found from Bashar. Um, I made some notes, so I'm gonna go through them. So very interesting perspective that he gives on winning the lottery. And I was quite surprised when I did what he suggested. Um, he suggested using the lottery to identify your limiting beliefs. And now I've done this with money before. And I have a tool that I use in my quantum jumping course where I help you identify your limiting beliefs. So I do this all the time. I always, you know, like the, the higher you go, the more that you achieve, you, you tend to plateau at certain levels. And when you hit those plateaus, it's like, okay, I got to pull out all my tools out of my toolbox. I must have a limiting belief here. You're, you're always uncovering those limiting beliefs. So anyway, his technique, though, was to use the lottery as an opportunity to understand the limiting beliefs that you have about having massive wealth. It's an opportunity to uncover those limiting beliefs. So he said, most of us, when we go in and we're, we're going to play the lottery, and I do, I'll, I will play, but I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm not certainly not buying tickets all the time. I never choose my own numbers. I let the, I let the machine, I found that I have a belief that if I pick the numbers, I'm going to lose, that I have a better chance of winning if the machine picks them. So I found that in this, in this exercise, but he said, most of us, when we're going in to purchase the lottery ticket, whether you choose the, t the numbers yourself or you allow the machine to pick them, we are going in with the mindset, I hope I have the winning numbers. I hope I pick the winning numbers. I hope this machine gives me the winning numbers. And he said, in order for you, one, to do an exercise where you, I, you can identify what, like, what blocks would you have to winning the lottery? So if you were to win a massive amount of money, let's say $32 million in the lottery, what are the blocks that come up? What are the fears that come up? What are the thoughts that come up about winning money, about, about overnight having massive wealth? And again, while I've done, I've done my own exercises on uncovering limiting beliefs, I uncovered something very interesting. So he said, though, the way that you should be walking in buying the ticket is already getting stepping into the parallel reality where it's already happened so now we're talking about quantum jumping neville says feeling is the secret getting into the feeling of having the wish fulfilled so i liked the way that he talked about though there's a parallel reality out there where you win this money step into that parallel reality what are the numbers like you could you could say what are those numbers? And then off the top of your head, write down those numbers and go and play those numbers. Or you could still walk in and, and have the machine pick them. But his point is, there's a parallel reality that, that is out there where you've won the lottery, where you've won this massive wealth. Just step into that parallel reality. When you go in to buy the tickets, be in that parallel reality where you're confident I already have the winning numbers. I already have them. I'm in the parallel reality where I won the lottery. I have the winning numbers. Here they are. Play the numbers. Again, you can pick them. You know, the machine pick them. But stay in the parallel reality where you have the winning numbers. Assume the wish fulfilled. I already have the winning numbers. There's a timeline here where I have the winning numbers. I already have them. Walk into buy the ticket, I already have the winning numbers. These are the winning numbers. Now, getting into the wish fulfilled, that's where 
for me, that exercise did uncover some blocks. So I found that I have this block or limiting belief. I don't, I don't, I don't like to use the word block. I found that I have this limiting belief about having millions of dollars like this. I have it in my head that it would be more fun to achieve it, to work for it, to create something and receive that in return. And he goes on to explain that for a lot of us, even though we have a belief, like we, we, we may say that we want to win the lottery and we play the lottery and we're hoping we win the lottery, it's not really our highest excitement. Hi guys, I just wanted to share some exciting news. I just released my quantum jumping course. Go on over to my website and check it out. I have a special offer for a limited time that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of. This course is not only to show you how you can manifest the cars, the houses, the money, and the lovers. It's about becoming the person who lives their life to the fullest and who has access to all the abundance the universe has to offer. It's about who you become in the process, your truest and most authentic self. Go over to www.yourdivineessence.com for more info. Hey, hit that like button down below if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. The key to winning the lottery, per Bashar, is insist you're in the reality, in the parallel reality of the person holding the winning numbers. Get into that energy. Go in and buy your tickets in that energy and see what happens. If you have limiting beliefs, do the exercise. Uncover those limiting beliefs. Work on those. Loosen up the resistance and see what happens. All right, guys. Good luck.